Here we're looking at American elm. It's in the family Almaceae, the genus Almus, and the specific epithet is Americana. So the species name is Almus Americana. American elm used to be very, very common in cities and towns, and it lined streets in part because of its vase-like shape that would, over, uh, that would arch over streets and in parkways. It's become less common because of a disease, a vascular fungal wilt called Dutch elm disease that was discovered in the U.S. in the 1930s. Since then, we've seen very few true American elms in our cities and towns. More common are to see hybrids or specific cultivars of elms, sometimes American elm bred with other Asian elms that are resistant to the Dutch elm disease. Let's take a closer look at some of its identifying characteristics. Bark, you can see that fairly large furrows that have an interlacing pattern. And on this trunk that we're looking at, the main trunk, you can see that there's a discoloration, sort of whites, grays, browns, that usually will originate from a wound somewhere higher in the tree. And that discoloration comes from a bacterial wet wood. Doesn't seem to harm the tree, but it does cause a discoloration or staining of the bark. Bark without wet wood discoloration has a gray-brown in color, and you can see the furrows interlacing, not incredibly deep, but as with many trees, it gets deeper with age. The American elm has alternately arranged buds, twigs, and leaves, and it lacks a true terminal bud, which can sometimes give it a zigzag appearance as you go up the stem. It has simple leaves, with a margin that's described as doubly serrate, meaning that there's a large indentation or tooth followed by a little bit of a smaller tooth as you move up. The base of American elm is often described as inequilateral, meaning one side comes down a little bit lower than the other side. Fairly prominent veins that go in a V-like pattern, dark green and then a lighter green on the underside. Without the leaves, you can get a better sense of the zigzag pattern. The bud at the end of a twig goes off at a slight angle, which is what gives it that zigzag appearance. And if you can see it, there are bands of a lighter color brown and a darker color brown. And these buds are just beginning to develop. They will get to be maybe two, two to three times larger than this current bud. Here you can see what the a new twig would look like on a branch, sort of a zigzag pattern with alternate leaves. While not visible on this tree, they would have come out earlier in the spring, the seeds and the fruit of American elm and, and all of the elms are around Samara. The American elm can be a medium to large sized tree when fully mature, and part of the reason that it was planted was this vase shape to it. Now this particular tree has a couple of trunks, but you can see that it arches over and provided nice shade over streets and homes.